So today is day 14 and I'm gonna come on here and show you my skin. Um, I just finished day three of applying the new application of the Good Peel Yellow Peeling Oil. So to do my legs and my feet, I, oh, I even, yeah, to do my legs and my feet, I didn't even finish this one bottle. Like this is a completely new bottle. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, all of that with one bottle, which now I know that on my knees I should have done one more application and I did. I did add, um, I think, two days of applying it three times a day and now my knees are peeling so I'm so happy. Same thing with my feet. So for your feet and your knees, I would say go over the recommended three days. Maybe go four days of applying it three times a day. If you still don't see anything, then maybe, I don't know, maybe go five days applying it three times a day. It, that's just for the knees and feet because apparently those are hard to peel. Um, but this little bottle, it lasts a long time. So I highly, highly recommend this stuff. Um, someone said that if you email the company, um, you can buy them in a smaller um, like unit. Like I know like when they sell things, like they sell it in like, you know, a large quantity. So if you just wanted like one or two bottles, apparently you can do that too. You just have to email them. Um, I also applied it on my arms and my back. So now that my legs are almost done, now that my stomach's almost done, um, you know, I trust in this method and I really like the uh, results. So yeah, I put it on my arms and I put it on my back. Before I told you guys like I was, oh, I don't really wanna do my back, but now that I see the color difference in my old skin versus the new skin, it's like, I have to, <laughs> I have to, or I'm gonna look so blotchy. So even though it's day 14 for my legs and my stomach, you can still see that I'm still peeling so um, yeah, just, just make sure that you have some time <laughs> spread out. Like the before and after pictures on their website, the final result, the girl took the picture was like day 15. So I feel like most people who, you know, read reviews and are looking on their website, like you get an idea of how long this process takes. Um, and I was told that you can even use maybe like a skin lightening lotion to help um, speed up the peeling process. So that's just up to you. But yeah, now it's on my arms and it's on my back and I'm excited. So it's day four and I already noticed some peeling on my arms. Let me get, well, you can't see now because I just put, oh well, yeah, you can, a little bit. Put lotion on. Maybe you can't notice that, I don't know. Yes, no. I can already see some light peeling, only like one or two spots. That's completely normal and that's a good sign that, yeah, the ring's gonna start peeling. Um, because it's my arms, my back, I am hoping that they're not going to be stubborn. Like I would have never guessed that feet and knees were hard to peel. Um, so I only did three days of applying three times a day for my arms and my back. So hopefully that's all I'll need. If not, then after like seven or eight days, if I see that there are certain areas that, especially if you see an area that's just like not, not affected at all, then I will go ahead and I'll put a few more applications on it, but I think it's gonna be completely fine. Um, since this is my second go round using the peeling oil, um, I was very generous. I still don't have a fan brush, so I've just been using my hands, put some on my hands, and um, I just wash my hands really, really well with soap and water afterwards. And basically, this is like a blend of how many acids? It's like glycolic, lactic, malic, salicylic, vitamin A, citric acid, like, it has a lot in it, um, but I love, love the results. I was thinking, wondering if I should do it on my face. Um, my MSM breakouts, it's been a few days since I made my last video. Um, as you can see, my face isn't looking as raw as it was last time. Most of the bumps have, um, you know, came up to the surface and of course I popped them. Um, so I'll give it maybe two or three more days and then I'll see what type of dark marks I'm left with on my face and I'll make the decision whether or not I should try to use this on my face or not. We'll see, if I do use it on my face, I don't even have to use it on like the rest of my face so it would only be used as a spot treatment. I'm not sure if this should be used as a spot treatment or not. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, you know, what sucks about the MSM breakout is that my skin was looking really, really good before I got back on MSM. And now it's like, ah, it looks crazy. But um, 
thankfully the um, it's healing so I'm happy since everyone basically just lives and works in pajamas now I did order some Amazon pajamas this is my first time buying pajamas on Amazon and um, I'm actually really happy I think they're really really cute <laughs> I'll have them linked below um, I'm thinking about ordering from this same company I can't remember what the company's name is I'll have to look in um, my order history but they have a pink set and it was only like $19 so anyways they're very comfy <laughs> And this is like a small and yeah, because you never really know how things are going to turn out when you order on Amazon, but I'm happy with it. Actually, I had another set come in today, but they're from a different company. Also Amazon, but different company. Let me show you. These I would say are more kind of like sexy pajamas just because like it's like a crop top. It's really, really soft. And then um, these shorts. feels so soft um this thankfully you know like it covers like everything so if you have to go outside and i don't know take out the trash or something you can like wear this outside without feeling like you're giving the neighbors a show but <laughs> that's what's going on over here i'm getting a lot of questions about liposomal i have heard of people using liposomal glutathione in a nebulizer um if you already have a nebulizer go ahead try it out but the whole purpose of using liposomal glutathione and vitamin c is that you don't have to take it rectally you don't have to take it in a nebulizer to get all of the um all of the nutrients from the supplement like it's not broken down by stomach acid which means you get to get it to those cells and you know you get to enjoy the benefits of it whereas if you just take um glutathione just like the powder or the pill and it's you know like reduced to glutathione then yeah some of that is going to get broke down by stomach acid so your body isn't really able to benefit from you know what you're taking and that's that's when things get kind of sketchy because you could say okay i'm taking 2000 milligrams a day or 3000 milligrams a day and if it's refined and you're just taking it orally or refined if it's reduced glutathione and you're just taking it orally you don't know how many milligrams you're really getting because your body isn't able to you know metabolize all that so just keep that in mind so that's why people love taking liposomal yes it's the most expensive but now you know why um the rest can't do what liposomal glutathione or liposomal vitamin c can do um it's really cool to see in the media like people are all hopping on the liposomal vitamin c bandwagon because um you know they're finally acknowledging that you know yes vitamin c helps build up your immune system and obviously there's other benefits to it other than just you know boosting your immune system but that if you're just taking regular vitamin c your body isn't even able to absorb all of that and so um they're really pushing liposomal um, vitamin c hard and it's like ah now you're getting on the bandwagon <laughs> but um yeah love my vitamin c um let me show you guys the bottles i'm still on this this is the shc glutathione brand i'm still using these um definitely um refrigerate after opening these are two more bottles for when the two that are in my fridge um are done but if you're in an area where you're having to work from home or you're locked down and you can't go anywhere i feel like now's the perfect time to do you know stay away from the sun obviously <laughs> we always do that but just you know take advantage of it as far as it being a time for you to kind of just pamper yourself there are so many people who are like doing face masks like every day, every other day. I usually couldn't find time to do face masks, um, but before I got back on MSM, like my skin wasn't acting so crazy, so I wasn't really worried about it. Now that I had a, that MSM breakout, like I'm doing a face mask every other day, but um, it's cool because I can see how the rest of my face is benefiting from it. Even doing a face mask for like an hour or two, because of course, you know, you get busy doing other things and you don't wash it off all like all at once. But I'm just seeing just how much the rest of my skin that isn't you know that's clear and that doesn't really have breakouts just how it's benefiting from still doing um face masks and things like that um one face mask that i have is a marshmallow one um mallow is used as a skin lightening agent um i just started using it so i don't really notice a difference but i'll let you guys know if i do the brightening 
is for real with the mallow one um i'll have to put it in the description box um it's just one that i got on amazon and i haven't ordered any other types of face mask from that brand i can't even remember the brand name but i just know like the marshmallow one is great so far and it helped um dry out uh, this cystic acne that i got so i started taking zinc but i started taking zinc before i got back on msm so i will say that if you just have you know mildly acne mildly acne and <laughs> if you just have like mild acne the type of skin that just breaks out when it's like your um when you're about to go on your cycle taking something like zinc will definitely make those breakouts non-existent um so i saw that my skin was staying clear longer but sadly it does nothing to protect your skin if you're like starting msm or something like the msm detox still killed me <laughs> even though i was taking zinc um but i will say for those of you who are either already on msm and so you're past the detox phase or those of you who have no interest in taking msm and you just kind of want even clearer skin than you already have like zinc actually works and i'm just doing the gummies i, th I feel like i talked about this in the other video my other supplement update video but it really does help i only started taking it because it's in my elderberry gummies um, so the elderberry gummies has 7.5 milligrams of zinc in them and then vitamin C and I think I take two a day so I'm really not getting that much zinc but it still made a difference in my skin again like I said once I started the MSM there was nothing that was gonna help this like I still my skin still detox I still got this stick acne um, but now that I'm getting out of the detox phase um, I'll you know obviously continue taking zinc and i won't see any new breakouts hopefully around the time of like my cycle because that's usually when my skin starts to act weird but i just wanted to throw that in there so if you ever hear people say oh my god zinc helped my skin i think it's true like it definitely helped mine um also if you've never tried msm but you have tried biotin and if you were one of the people who broke out awfully from biotin just know MSM basically will do the same thing. Um, I'm one of those people who, when I tried biotin a few years ago, um, my cystic acne like flared up really bad and like I never touched biotin again. Um, so if you're one of those people and you're thinking about trying MSM, just know that you're gonna go through an ugly duckling stage as far as the acne. But the cool thing is not everyone goes through, you know, crazy breakouts with it. I feel like there's one more other thing. Oh my gosh, so I'm, I'm I'm growing some mushrooms to cook. They're lion's mane mushrooms and yeah, it's from a farmer over here in Orlando. And basically, they send you a grow box and everything you need. And then in the bottom is some dirt. And in that dirt are little mushroom seeds and so in a few days i will get to show you guys my mushrooms as of right now i've just been keeping it nice and moist and um this is for this is like a humidity tent but i've just been spraying it keeping it nice and moist and i'll show you guys when my mushrooms start to grow but cool thing about it if you're in the u.s like they can um, ship the grow kits anywhere so you can grow your own um if you live in orlando or something they can just basically ship you fresh um mushrooms just like straight to your house <laughs> so you don't have to grow them yourself but uh, the cool thing about this is like people make all types of um chicken recipes like lion's mane mushrooms is basically vegan chicken like you fry it up it looks exactly like fried chicken people make the coolest recipes so if during this you guys are starting a garden we've started a garden here um we just have like our little baby seeds there budding right now and then i bought this mushroom crow box but now it's the time to be growing stuff and it's actually really really fun but i think that's all i got